Hey guys, Tokaraka here. Today I'm going to be casting a Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition game between Say My Name and Vivi. These are two players, um, I, they're either from Vietnam or China, I'm not totally sure. I think Say My Name is Vietnamese, and I think Vivi, uh, Vivi's definitely Chinese. Vivi is definitely not Vietnamese. I think Say My Name might be Vietnamese, I'm not totally sure. Anyway, uh, here on the left hand side, we have Vivi in the blue playing as the Khmer, or Khmer, or however the hell you pronounce it. And then on the right hand side, we have Say My Name playing as the Khmer as well, in the red. And uh, the reason I'm showing this game is because Vivi's strategy is absolutely bonkers. And, uh, and you guys, you guys are, gonna, are gonna figure it out soon. So, we can already tell some things off. He has seven villagers on food. Usually, you open with six villagers on food, and then um, uh, and then you build a lumber camp with, with the next three or four villagers, or maybe two villagers if you're doing some really fast scout rush. But this time, he's going seven on food, and then immediately sending out the eighth villager to the rhino. This is the type of Arabia that has uh, fruit bushes and rhino, a rhino and an elephant instead of two wild boars. Uh, yeah, he, so he's also immediately building a farm. So he has nine villages now and they're all on food. He's also finding all his sheep. You'll find these eventually. He's about to run into them. There we go. Same my name on the other hand. Uh, normal stuff, six on food, three on wood. Basically what you'd expect from from Khmer early game. He's now luring in the rhino, he's also luring in some zebras. So this is standard stuff from Say My Name. If we look, take a look at their maps, uh, he has back berries which is nice, he has back gold which is nice, and he has back gold here which is amazing. Uh, he can wall this, he can kind of wall off the front and then he can wall off the side here. His stone is exposed which is not too nice. His, his main stone is in a bad position and his secondary stone is in a terrible position so that's not the best for him but generally his map is is quite nice uh, this wood line and this wood line are, are, are pretty good and especially this gold and this gold are are very very good on the other hand Vivi's map well backward line here which he's not taking yet and as you can see he's long distance mining gold and he's uh he's now luring zebras as well it's quite messy the zebra's not under the TC and the elephant has to run around the tree, and the pathing is is a uh... oh okay. You almost lose the villager. Pathing's not great when when big units like elephants and boars have to run around trees. Which is why some people sometimes delete these straggler trees. Sometimes they delete their opponent's straggler trees in order to lame them to give them less wood, and that's generally considered cheating, and that's banned from tournaments. But <laughs> in uh in this case. You know, you want to you want to delete this this tree really. Although, for Vivi's strategy here, he might not actually want to get rid of his straggler trees like ever, and until he until he uses them up, and uh, and then goes to the wood afterwards because he doesn't have a lumber camp yet, and he's Khmer. Guys, remember, Khmer don't require any buildings to advance through the ages or unlock other buildings. So he doesn't need a mill or a mining camp or a lumber camp to click up. He just needs he just needs villagers on food. He just needs 500 food, and he already has it. As you can see, he's clicked up with 19 population, which is standard for uh, for scout rushing. But he's not on wood. He's not building a stable once he gets to feudal age. <laughs> Say my name isn't even up yet. He's going to click up with 20 pop and loom. Loom coming in pretty much right now. Vivi doesn't even have Loom. Because <laughs> he doesn't need it. Because the only exposed villagers are on gold. Which is very cl far close to his TC. He's not on wood yet. He's not on any wood. He isn't even taking the stragglers yet. He's luring in pretty much all of his zebras. He might not know this one. It's pretty far away. And he's, he's coming up to Feudal Age. And this is the most insane strategy, opening strategy on Arabia that I have ever seen, I think. Maybe I haven't seen very much, but he's long distance mining gold, 
He now has 200 gold. He has to make one villager. As Khmer, you would want to just click up to Castle Age immediately. Uh, having to make a villager is sloppy. But he's okay. He has so much food that he's, he's gathering right now. And he clicks up to Castle Age. So that is a 19 plus 1 Castle Age. And you can do better than that. He could have done 19 plus 0 if he had um, if he had slightly more food. He could have done uh, or 20 plus 0, which would have been more advisable. But that's totally insane. He's clicked up to Castle Age before Say My Name is even in Feudal Age. Say My Name is now fully walling his base. He's, he's kind of panicking. I don't think he knows what Vivi's doing. I don't think he understands. Vivi's finally onto wood with a lumber camp. You kind of need this lumber camp to get double bit axe, which is pretty much the most important technology in the game, which he's getting right now. And he's not on berries yet. He's not on gold anymore. He, he actually has zero gold. So all of the gold he mined, long distance mined, went into advancing to the, to the castle age. No loom, no anything. Everything into just castle age. And he still has five villages on, on straggler trees. He's putting a mill on his uh, berries now, finally. Probably going to wall these guys in eventually. And say my name? Well... Say my name's economy is terrible. Because say my name invest has invested an insane amount of wood and villager work time into doing this walling. And uh, I guess building two lumber camps and making so many farms here. Whereas Vivi, he did nothing. He's, he's made three palisade walls in total. This one has, isn't finished. And four houses. And now he's castle agent and has a, has a town centre. It's completely ridiculous that he's already in castle age and Say My Name isn't even close. Say My Name still has two sheep left. And Say My Name's resource count isn't even very good. He has quite a bit of food, but Vivi's already started building a town center. So this is completely ridiculous. I, I guess even the same my name, he hasn't actually used any of the Khmer's bonuses yet because Khmer's scout rush is strong because you don't have to build the barracks before building a stable. He hasn't even built a stable yet. In fact, he's doing nothing. He's also farming right now. Okay, this is he technically he's using his uh, Khmer bonuses right now, not needing to drop off any, uh, not not needing to drop off drop off the food at a mill. It just drops off immediately into the stockpile. Just teleports into there. I always thought it was really really weird once I saw the. Uh, the food count rising like that, just one one food at a time. He will be up to Castle Age soon, but... Vivi already has two town centers, and he has 13 farmers. Well, no, 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 he has, uh, he has uh, about to be 10 farmers and then four on berries. So he can, he can sustain villager production really from these two town centers. And he's also not being pressured. If he did get pressured, then that would mean Say My Name would have, be having to make, make military. And uh, in order for Say My Name to make military, he'd have to invest resources in, into that, which would delay his castle age time. And that would just give Vivi even more of an economy lead, while it might disrupt his economy slightly. Uh, it, it, might, it might work, because he doesn't have loom. So an archer with fletching can, can kill the villager in five hits. But I feel like Vivi could just garrison in the TCs. And then he can build a t town center wherever he wants. Like archers take a long time to get across the map. If archers were to sit behind here, or here, or here to deny this TC, Vivi would just build a TC here on this wood. And then archers wouldn't really be able to do, do anything really. And Vivi's map is really good for the strategy as well because he's got this, uh, this stone and this gold close to his TC. His base is really compact. It's not walled at all. It just has town centers. So now he has 36 villagers, which is four more than Say My Name, while Say My Name is advancing to the castle age. Building a second stable. He uh, hasn't made any scouts yet. I, did he get bloodlines? No, he hasn't got bloodlines yet. He's definitely going to be going, uh, going for knights. Otherwise, he wouldn't be making two stables. Maybe he could go battle elephants, but that would... That would be really weak, especially with uh, stables at the back of your base. 
building a passive gate here. His base is, is nicely laid out. He's got a house wall here behind the uh, the palisades, which hasn't really finished yet, but obviously you don't want to have excess houses. He's now getting bloodlines. So he's playing he's playing standard. Uh, apart from the fact that he didn't actually make any scouts in Feudal Age. This is quite normal. And uh, oh, the lack of loom coming into play here. Vivi will lose a villager. And uh, say my name, will he be able to take out the next villager? Yes, he will. So he kills two villagers and loses one scout. So that's generally a good trade. But guys, I don't think Vivi cares. He has 46 villagers. Say my name has 32. That is insane. And what happens for the rest of this game is, is just as insane as this. If not more. Well, no, I, probably not more, but... This this game, the the surprising things about this game don't end here. There's a lot more to come. He's finally getting bowsaw. Say my name, probably just got it. I'm I didn't I didn't see. I wasn't looking. Uh, Vivi is just scouting around. Runs into a knight. Say my name has forging right now, but no armor upgrade, which is generally not what we see from knights, usually they get the attack up, uh, the armor upgrades before the attack upgrades. But forging means that he can force shot villagers, which he is doing. This villager will die. Yep. That villager would have taken five hits otherwise. And Vivi is actually going for a fourth town center. He's not going to get it at the moment. He is able to garrison in the houses, so he doesn't really lose any villagers from this. Though he is losing villagers, so he's, he's lost, he's lost about two, maybe three in total now. I th I think just two. And he has a defensive monastery. So he's gonna convert a knight. Say my name's gonna kinda of be forced to run away here. Um Vivi's gonna try and get the castle up. Uh, not castle, town center up, but he 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 really can't. He's gonna have to garrison back. He has to make more monks. And now he, he's kind of bailed on this TC for now and is just building a fourth TC here instead. Which is next to a gold. And and also next to the main stone. Oh, failed the house wall. This villager will probably... Okay, it survives. And uh, Vivi has more monks. And the great thing about monks is that if you convert a, uh, a knight with the first monk, uh, you put the monk in the town center, conserve it, then you make another monk, and suddenly you have two monks, and then they both have full faith. And so monks just get more and more and more value as they, uh, as they get conversions without dying. Vivi currently does not have all town centers producing, but it doesn't matter. He has 67 villages. Say my name has 42. Yeah, so this is that's the unfortunate thing about monks. Sometimes, sometimes you just lose them after getting conversion, or sometimes you don't even get them for conversion. But if you use them properly, you uh, you get a conversion, and you conserve the monk, and then you just get more and more conversions, and then and then the monks get I insane value, and you don't even really have to reproduce them because they just never die. Because this, this thing has 9 range. Say so my name has his, has his own monk. He's uh, He can pick up relics with this guy. Or, you know, multiple of these monks. And he's patrolling this hill with his knights. He has way more military right now. He has 11 military compared to 4. For Vivi. Vivi, sorry. That, I said that weirdly. Uh, and say my name. 47 villagers only. 48 villagers only compared to Vivi on 78 villagers. And Vivi's village account's only gonna only gonna go up. Five town centers. He's on gold now. Probably need, wants to make a lot of monks. And um, say my name still doesn't have plus one defense. He is now getting plus one defense skill body armor, but he cannot go in. And the monks will uh, will uh, force away these these knights for now. Say my name has now finally two town centers, so his economy will get rolling a little. But look at look at look at his food income. It's pretty good. And now look at Vivi's food income and the rest of his resources. It's insane. He has 29 farmers. Say my name has only 19. And he has 25 woodcutters and 15 gold miners. And say my name only has 20 and then uh, uh, nine gold miners. So v Vivi just has more of everything here. This thing is garrison. It looks like this the sixth town center got denied. And here come some knights. 
This monk will probably get one conversion and then die. Yep, expected. And then this monk will also get a conversion and then die. This monk will not get anything, it'll just run into the town center. It looks like Vivi does uh does clean that up and he might get the sixth town center up. Are these knights with only plus one defense? They are still taking two damage per hit from each town center. Uh each town center arrow. And uh he would need whatever it's called, uh the plate no, chain body armor in order to take one damage. And then he'd be pretty much immune to the town centers. But he can't really afford that right now. He wants to keep his three town center economy rolling so he doesn't fall too far behind. But he's he's already behind basically 40 villagers, he's at 58, Vivi is at 96. Vivi's economy is absolutely ridiculous. One of his town centers has five villagers queued! Five villagers! Okay, one of his town centers is not being used. His five town centers, he's now building his sixth town center on a gold. So every single one of his resources, except his berries, basically has a town center on it. And he has monks getting some conversions. And he loses one monk, he loses two monks, but he does save one of them. And he gets some conversions. He's getting two more conversions now. This monk, I, I'm not sure if it got a conversion. Yeah, I think it died, unfortunately. But this one did get a conversion. There are knights going in, doing a lot of damage. And there are also uh, forward monks from Say My Name, which get another con conversion on the knight. So, so far, the amount of conversions Vivi has, uh, well, he has seven kills, and uh, Say My Name has 15 deaths, so it's basically eight units converted. Say My Name's killing villagers, but does it matter? Does it matter if you kill 20 villagers of your opponent when your opponent is 47 villagers ahead of you? And I think, I think the answer is... Not really. I don't think Vivi cares if he loses some villages here. In fact, he even has houses that he can just garrison villages in whenever he wants. But he's losing a lot. These knights are doing damage. Okay, now he has spearmen. Nine spearmen will clean up uh, four four knights, or however many it is. No upgrades on the spearmen at all. He'll... Okay, one conversion on knight here. Say my name actually converts the high HP knight, which is, uh, which is nice. This monk has full faith. Yeah, monk defense with six town centers against knights is absolutely insane. And uh, I think that if Say My Name had gone for uh, for crossbows, Vivi would have gone for defensive scorpions. And here we go. Vivi's building a defensive castle. It's not really in the most defensive position. It only really defends one town center and uh, some farm space. But most of this farm space is taken up by houses. Uh, Vivi, please delete this knight. He deleted it. Very smart. More villagers dying. Uh, his pikemen are so bad. Out of position. You can't chase down knights. It's very difficult to use pikes against uh, against knights here. But he saves most of his villagers. And um, it's good. Currently his town center is being scorpioned. If that's a word. Scorpions don't do that much damage to buildings. They do more than regular, regular like archers do. But uh, they don't do nearly as much as mangonels or rams. Vivi has another monk here. Vivi has four monks, maybe more. 19 total military. And with this castle, well, he's making a ballista elephant. This is where we it gets even more interesting. So we have ballista elephants with a 126 villager economy. Usually. You can't really go for Ballista Elephants, because they're so expensive, and uh, and they don't really work very well in low numbers. But they work quite well when you have 132 villagers, uh, 40 plus farmers. Uh, ideally you'd want like 60 or maybe even 80 farmers. But you also need a lot of gold for them. You need 80 gold apiece, 100 food apiece. He has the monks to deal with the uh, the knights. This is a good fight for Say My Name. He's going to clear up these pikes, the scorpions, and uh, and the uh, you know high knight numbers. Is Vivi gonna gonna convert these these knights here? Say My Name's coming in. Oh, okay. Vivi is going to garrison the monks, and then he the ballista elephants. These guys have have no upgrades at all, but knights. Not nearly as population efficient. 
These guys are obviously much cheap, cheaper than Ballista Elephants, but I think four Ballista Elephants will beat three Knights. And Save My Name doesn't even want to know. He's just going to leave. He doesn't want to fight those guys. Forward Castle for Save My Name. Now, what's Save My Name's economy looking like? He has 36 farmers, 102 villagers. It's looking good. It's looking pretty good. For this stage of the game, 34 minutes, this is a good uh, amount of villagers. Vivi, on the other hand, 139 villagers, he's making more, and he's Imperial Age. And he has two defensive castles. This town center could die, especially since there's going to be a castle on it. And these three scorpions are still here. And this is a lot of scorpions. Say my name has six scorpions out right now, and two forward siege workshops. But really, I don't think he was expecting Ballista Elephants. Vivi with with two castles? You can make a, make a, quite a few of these guys. He's not getting Sanctity for his monks. Uh, this is really awkward. He currently has 18 idle villagers, which means that he has barely more working villagers than Say My Name does. But he has more, and he's up to Imp. He also has pikes. He has plus one defense on these guys. He's making more pikes. He obviously expects some uh, more knights or cavalier or something from Say My Name. Monks don't seem to get any conversions here, but they're going to force the knights away. There isn't going to be any economy damage here. And Vivi, making more ballistic elephants, making more villages. He's going to be over 150 villages soon. He's finally getting husbandry, which is really important for ballist elephants since they're so slow. And he's getting uh, the scale barding armor, which also applies to ballist elephants. People don't know what upgrades apply to ballist elephants, but they're, they're not elephant archers. So, they're not archers, they're, they're siege, and they're cavalry. So, I think it, it would probably make sense if they didn't benefit from any armor upgrades, like organ guns, which are siege, but they do. They benefit from cavalry armor upgrades. Scale barding armor, as you see, gives them plus one. Bodkin arrow is going to affect his town centers and his castles, mainly good for the castles for the range. He's building a third castle now, and he immediately... Well, once he has the wood, makes a trebuchet. He has a shit ton of gold. 40, fa 40 farmers, 40 Khmer farmers. These guys are racking in food insanely quickly. And what's he going to do with that food? Oh, you know what he's going to do with that food. He's going to wait for a thousand food. He doesn't need to make any more villages. He has 157. There's some villages here which are dying, sadly. I think they were looking for gold. Uh, and over a thousand food right now. Over 1,100 food, actually. Elite Ballista Elephant. The fact that he can get this immediately as he hits Imperial Age is completely insane. You can usually never afford a tech like that once you get Imperial Age. But with 150 villagers, and unfortunately, oh, one of them surviving. Oh my god. Is this- is it- is he gonna get the TC up? Oh my god, say my name narrowly misses that. He's gonna lose his forward castle, and now he's going rams. So he's going rams, and halbs. A forward castle here as well. This forward castle will die, but this one is on a hill, it's in a much better position. He's getting halberdier and rams. Rams are actually very good for spillist elephants, because... They do bonus damage versus Siege, and they have really high pierce armor. Ballista Elephants have pierce damage, and they don't have any bonus versus Rams, or any melee damage value, or anything that will deal more damage to Rams. And Ballista Elephants, they class as Siege, so they take bonus damage from Rams. They are, they are, uh, they are faster than Rams, though. But this castle's in trouble. There are four Rams on it. There are Halberdiers entering, entering Rams. Four capped rams on a castle. The castle doesn't have masonry or anything. These rams are actually diverting from the castle and going for the treb. Because he wants to save his buildings. And he will kill that treb. Will he kill anything else though? These ballista elephants are raining fire. I, I think he might have got double crossbow now. I'm not totally sure. This trebuchet survives. Really? I think that Vivi... Um, say my name should have just focused on killing the castle because he would have killed it with those four rams he just wouldn't have killed the treb he has his own treb here now which well theoretically it would kill the, um, uh, the castle but this thing's gonna die 
And uh, yes, say my name does have double crossbow. He also has chemistry and full defense upgrades. So these ballista elephants are missing one upgrade and that's siege engineers. And he does, okay, he's getting ballistics. Um, so he'll get it eventually. This trebuchet is gonna die. This is a lot of bolts. The rams will eventually die as well. Cavalier upgrade in, blast furnace. All of these guys are fully upgraded except the cavalier, which don't have plate barding. Say my name has this forward castle position, which is quite nice. But 39 military, 54 military for Vivi. Is 21, 22 elite, 24 elite ballista elephants. Sorry, kept changing the number because the number just keeps changing. Vivi's also palisading here. He's he's got pikes defensively to deal with light cav. And uh, 26 elite ballista elephants. This is the first time I've seen this unit in a one versus one pro game, and it's against two units that typically counter it, rams and halves. But guys, Khmer halves, shit. No plate body armor and no squires. Two extremely important techs. Okay, say my name probably wants to attack the ballista elephants here, which he will do. They do take bonus damage from siege. I can't click him, unfortunately. They also take bonus damage from halves, and there's 14 halves here, 28 ballista elephants. Even if halves do counter ballista elephants, there is a huge numbers advantage for Vivia at this point. Castle goes down for Say My Name. Everything's dying. He does have Siege Ram now. A single Scorpion actually does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, Scorpions have bonus damage against elephants, so... Siege Rams get a couple hits on the Ballista Elephants. But, there's so many of these guys! 30 of these guys now. They shoot two bolts each. These shots go through absolutely everything. But this elephant does die. Some of these guys are dying. But the KD, to say my name, well, it's pretty good. He's killed a lot of villagers, though. And I think that's really what's giving him the good KD that he has. Oh god, I need to turn down the sounds, don't I? This is way too loud. Um... Yeah, okay. Ballista elephants and scorpions and all of that stuff, especially on the old sound mod that I have, are insanely loud. That halberdier just got completely destroyed. Castle going up on the hill. There are like, hussars in the economy, which are fully upgraded. Uh, there's hussars on this forward TC as well. Say my name's getting a castle here to defend his gold and his TC and stop this forward position for Vivi. So Vivi's going for halps. Ballista Elephants, and Hussars. His Hussars are full defense upgrades. Currently, he's only about to be lacking a Blast Furnace, because he's just got Iron Casting. And the Ballista Elephants... Well, these guys aren't going to die anytime soon. If you let your opponent get 34 Elite Ballista Elephants, or more, you're done. These things don't die. He's just sitting under a town center, he doesn't care. Uh, granted, the town center has literally no upgrades, but even if this had any upgrades, nothing would happen at all to these Ballista Elephants. Rip the Mangonel, sadly. Ram, with uh, with one Halberdier inside, it gets one hit. Halberdier pretty much instantly dies. I didn't even see it eject from the Ram. Uh, there's a Monk here, which is... Uh... Is this guy gonna survive? Halb's dying. Okay, the monk dies. Rip. I don't know where that guy was going. But Vivi? He has the trebs to back this up. And he has halbs to kind of deal with the rams. Although there is a castle here, which is, should be killing these guys. Say my name is... Just, just can't do anything. He's stuck with terrible Khmer halbs. And some siege rams, but he's had less economy the whole game. He just has less military in general. 69... What is this? Is this a glitch? Why is it going up and down like that? That's really strange. Anyway, um... Say my name's completely clearing this up. Helmet is and siege rams doing nothing. Okay, the siege rams do take out the trebs. And the siege rams can do some damage to the ballista elephants as well, but... Those halves, well, they're doing a decent job. They've killed it. They've killed quite a lot of ballista elephants, and there's also conversion. But 
Still 19 Elite Ballista Elephants. KD is uh, now about to be in Vivi's favor. Most of the kills that uh, Say My Name's getting are on Halbs and Hussars, not on Ballista Elephants. But he, he killed quite a lot of them at, at that point. So really, it's a glimmer of hope. The Halberdiers obviously deal insane bonus damage against Elephants. But at this point, he has 29 of them. He has a hill. Well, did. He doesn't really need the hill anymore. And his military numbers are just are just better. He has more army value on the field. Because these guys do so much damage. He has a ballista elephant in the economy! And if you if you have elephants in your guys' economy, you yeah, you just you just have to leave that area, because these guys aren't gonna die. Unless you send like five halberdiers. Outpost instantly dies. Farms will die as well. This siege ram? This guy's a speedy boy, has six halberdiers inside. Really? Sea drums? In theory, they should work, but he just hasn't had enough of them. It's just so hard to deal with this. And now, we might see a big engagement here. There's 30 elite ballista elephants. There's 32 halberdiers. Meanwhile, there's a lot of uh, hussar raiding going on at the top, as you can see on the minimap. Two monks here for Vivi. I don't know why he has monks here. Maybe to heal. But here, 36 helps. 31, 28, and the siege rams also dying. Because um, usually siege rams are good against the ranged units because the ranged units focus all their fire on the siege rams and therefore don't hit the uh, the, the other actual units. But in this case, uh, these. Scorpion projectiles go through everything, so these guys take damage even even when the uh, the shots uh, actually hit the rams. I mean, he shoots here, he shoots at the ram, but the, the halbs die anyway. <laughs> and then these halbs... Gone. Reduced to atoms. Uh, so Vivi did just lose a lot of hussars in raiding the economy. But I think that's okay. The uh, village accounts are actually much lower than they have been for the rest of the game right now. Uh, Vivi used to be at 150 or 157 villagers or something st st stupid. And now he's only at 123. Say My Name is at 120. So they're pretty much equal economy right now. KD is now insane for Vivi, over 300. Just now hit 300 for, for Say My Name. Also, KD isn't exactly realistic because... It looks like Vivi's got 17 conversions or something. Okay, here we could see these halbs die. Nah, actually, they're not patrolling in. They're going back. I mean, 30 plus ballista elephants on a hill are just, are just impossible to beat. Treb's actually gonna die because uh, the ballista elephants focus on the hussar instead of the halbs. The Hells will die without really doing anything at all. More Hussars in the economy. Vivi's doing a good job with these guys, but Say My Name is doing a really good job with keeping Halbs and uh, defending against them. Obviously, there are, there are a lot of villager kills happening, and Vivi's losing a lot of villagers himself. Say My Name actually has uh, a couple of stables in the corner, as well as Monastery in the corner with, uh, with Relic, and he has Hussars down here. But... Even if they both have uh, hussars in each other's economy, even if Vivi loses a lot of bills, how on earth does Say My Name deal with this force? He's got a lot of siege rams coming in. Vivi's gonna micro this. Vivi's gonna shoot, and those halbs are just gonna melt. The halbs are now attacking uh, downhill, so they do have the elevation advantage, and they will get rid of these uh, this, these hussars. But look at these guys melt. Is he going to shoot? Yep! Those halbs, no more. And neither is the siege ram. More hussars going into the eco for Say My Name. I I'm struggling to think. Maybe Say My Name should have been using some of the hussars to, to tank some of the blist elephant shots. But then again, you can't tank shots from a unit that shoots piercing bolts, right? Bolts that just... 
go through everything. Oh, well, this Treb's probably dead. Yeah, that rip. And uh, Vivi's units are patrolling back because they're in stand ground. That's not what you want, but it doesn't matter. Honestly, guys, I think these are better than Heavy Scorpions. Because, like, in, in, in on Arabia, at least. Because these guys are m much faster than Heavy Scorpions. And unlike Heavy Scorpions, they don't die in one shot from Onagers. So, Onagers don't really do much versus these guys. 310 HP, even if uh, Onagers do like 60 damage per hit, that's still over f pretty much 5 hits to kill. Halbs and the Eco defend against the Hussars. They're both down to below 115 bills now. And Say My Name has is, is gone down below 100. He's now currently at exactly 100. Halb's trying to deal with Hussars here. There's there's just there's blue dots and red dots everywhere. Hussars in here. Hussars dying back there. Uh, forward stable attempted from Vivi, but denied. 33 elite ballista elephants. Vivi doesn't have any relics. He is actually going to take out this though, and he might get this relic eventually. And he still has 3 on gold, and he has 4,000 gold in the bank! Hold on, wait. Okay, this is, no, this is same. Say My Name has 3,000 gold in the bank. Vivi has nothing. Sorry, I didn't mean to move. Say My Name has four relics. And uh, about 4,000 gold in the bank, but he's not using it. If he went for Onager, or Heavy Scorpion, or just something gold intensive, or like Battle Elephants, Maybe he'd be able to beat this, because generally Battle Elephants are, are one of the best units against against Ballista Elephants, as they have so much health and pierce armor. And unlike regular Scorpions, Ballista Elephants don't actually deal any bonus damage versus other Elephants. <laughs> well, these Hussars are going to die. Pretty easily. But, Vivi has two Trebs. They're on a hill, but the castle's also on a hill, so I'm not sure if this is taking more or less damage. I think less. Yeah, I, I think this castle is higher up. If I actually, I know this castle's higher up. This is like three tiles of elevation. This is like seven tiles of elevation. But here we're going to have a bit more of an engagement. Say my name. His halbs are going to melt. And now they're going to retreat. Okay, the ram actually dies before it kills the treb. Hussars, killing hussars at the back. This castle will die. Say my name's gonna be forced to flee from this area. Or just lose everything. He's building more barracks. He doesn't know what to do. How how Badir should kill this? But they don't. It doesn't work. I think this is the point where Say My Name, who does have 125 bills, but only uh only 37 military compared to over 90 for Vivi. I think this is the point where Say My Name probably realizes that there's nothing he can do and he's he's dead he's he's well he, he's defending well but he's never been able to deal with this he took one okay engagement and then just there's nothing he can do granted Vivi is a higher rated player than say my name so I may probably this wouldn't work if Vivi did it against uh, another pro player like Hera or Viper or Jordan or Doubt or something. Potentially it could work, but really I think they probably know each other's playstyles. M or maybe not actually. I'm. I think. I think that uh, they're not from the same country and they're not. Uh, I don't know if they're friends or not. They probably. Yeah, maybe they are. But yeah, there are more Hussars in the eco. Say my name is sending them in, but Vivi has his own defensive Hussars. And Vivi just can't deal with this. 39 Elite Ballista Elephants now. More coming in, so that's actually 42 Elite Ballista Elephants. 90 military, over 100 villagers, and Say my name is now below 100 bills. The eco KD, I can't see it because I, uh, I don't have Capture Age. Actually, I do. I just don't use it because I, I don't like it. So I'm sorry that I don't have Capture Age, or that I'm not using it, I just find it... I find it really easy to view the thing that I've been viewing for for months and months. 
rather than Capture Rage, which is new to me, and I don't like the layout, I don't like the font, I don't really like anything. In fact, I don't like how you can't see how many production buildings are, uh, are queued. In, in Capture Rage, it wouldn't show you that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or however many stables this is queued. It would just show the amount of facades that are in the queue, and then the amount of facades that are on the field. But it wouldn't tell you how, how many stables are queued. So Capture Age is actually kind of, actually worse in some ways than, than the actual, you know, game. Vivi's 110 bills, more hussars coming in, but he has, he has, he has so many defensive TCs and castles. So really, the only time where he can really lose villagers and not, not kill the hussars is, um, is at the back of his base. We have more fights coming in here. Yeah, I mean, say my name is gonna lose pretty much all of these villagers, and he calls GG. Nothing he can do here. How many villagers was this? Uh, that's 35 vills. Or maybe more, I'm not sure if I selected all of them. <laughs> so he would pretty much just lose 35 villagers. Or maybe, maybe 25 villagers, but he's already down to 99 vills, so he'd go down to like 70, and it, it would just, it's just so bad. And Vivi's sending in more halbs, not halbs, sorry, hussars, which would go back here. And the KD, 724 units killed for Vivi. And not only that, but uh, say my name lost 741, so that's uh, 17 kills not accounted for by actual kills. And that's, of course, because uh, 17 units converted. So Vivi did well with the monks in, in the early castle age, or just throughout castle age in general. And, uh, you know, same my name did okay with six conversions. And then uh, the KD is just completely insane. Economy, Vivi collected an absolutely bonkers amount of food. Quite a lot more wood for same my name. He was making a lot of siege rams. And he collected more stone and gold as well. Uh, including 4,000 relic gold. Uh, did he lose the... Okay, he still had the four relics. But he, he, only, had, uh, he only had this. Uh, Vivi, on the other hand, he did take one relic down here. He stole it, basically. And he was taking gold. So, really, the relics didn't matter at this point, because uh, still eight villagers on gold for Vivi. And it's these eight. And this gold? Well, there's still quite a lot here. And Chimera, just insane with the hussar spam in the late game. But yeah, say my name, 99 villagers. When you go below 100 like that, and you also don't really have any any military to contest this, I think, I think it's fair to call GG. Uh, this is so much of his economy that's just about to about to go down. I don't know how many Bliss Elephants died this game. Like, 10? And, like, 200 Halbs died or something? Something completely ridiculous. But, yep. <sighs> the Khmer Masterpiece. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And, uh, maybe share it if you if you enjoyed this game and i will see you next time bye